Hello YouTube. Today we are going to see multiplication of negative numbers using Booth's algorithm. I recommend you to watch my previous video on Booth's multiplication to understand the whole process. Link is given in the description. Let's get started with. In binary, we cannot use plus or minus sign. Rather, we need to make use of bit to represent a number as a positive or negative. Let's see how we can represent a negative binary number. So do so, first step is to convert the number into binary if it is not in binary form. Then calculate 2's complement of that number. If you don't know what is 2's complement and all that, I have another video explaining about it. Please find the link in the description. Now we need to make use of leftmost bit to indicate the sign of the number. If it is a negative number, we can make use of 1 or if it is a positive number, we can use 0 bit to represent it as a positive number. In the example given below, number 10 is first converted into binary, then 2's complement of number 10 is calculated and finally leftmost bit is set to 1 to indicate that the number is a negative number. Let's take an example for multiplication. So I have taken number 14 and minus 5 for multiplication. Assume 5 bits are taken to represent our multiplicand m and multiplier q. We are considering 5 bits because an extra bit is required to represent the sign of the number. That's why we are taking 5 numbers. Generally we take 4 bits to represent a number but here we are taking 1 bit extra to represent the sign. Firstly, we need to convert both the numbers into binary. As the number 14 and minus 5 are in decimal form, firstly we need to convert them into an equivalent binary form. So the binary of the number 14 is 0 1 1 1 0 and that of number 5 is 0 0 1 0 1. Notice that number 5 has a negative sign. So we need to represent it in the negative form by using the method that we discussed in the last slide. Therefore, number minus 5 is represented as 11011 in binary form. Now consider 14 as multiplicand and minus 5 as multiplier. Therefore, m is equal to 01110 and q is equal to 11011. Now, accumulator a, multiplier q and multiplicand m will store 5 bits. This is the number of bits taken to represent multiplicand and multiplier. There will be in total 5 iterations because we are representing our numbers using 5 bits. Initially, accumulator and previous bit q-1 is initiated with 0, q and m are loaded with multiplier and multiplicand respectively. Let's begin with the first iteration. Here, the row contains a, q, and q-1 as given on the last slide. Now we need to check the last bits of q and q-1. Those are 1 and 0. Thus we need to perform a is equal to a minus m. We can represent the same equation as a is equal to a plus 2's complement of the m. 2's complement of 0 1 1 1 0 is 1 0 0 1 0 Therefore, a will be 10010. The row below shows the new value of a and there is no change in q and q-1. Let's continue with that row. Now, we need to perform arithmetic right shift. It is nothing but shifting the bits to right by one place. So, here the right shift is Here you can see the trailing one has got to the first position and all the other bits have been shifted to the right. While performing arithmetic right shift, we need to consider only the values of a and q combinedly. Let's continue with that row. Now perform second iteration. Here the row contains a, q and q-1 as given on the last slide. Now we need to check the last bits of q and q-1. Those are 1 and 1. Thus, there will be no operation. There will be no change in values of a, q and q-1. 
let's continue with that row now we need to perform the arithmetic redshift and it is the row below contains the new values of a q and q minus 1 after arithmetic right shift let's continue with that row now we are going to perform the third iteration here the row contains a q and q minus 1 as given on the last slide check the last bits of q and q minus 1 those are 0 and 1 thus we need to perform a is equal to a plus m in this case notice that there is a carry we can just ignore it therefore a will be 0 1 0 1 0 and the row below shows the new value of the a and there is no change in the values of q and q minus 1 let's continue with that row now we need to perform arithmetic right shift and it is the row below contains the new values of a q and q minus 1 after arithmetic right shift let's continue with that row now we are in the iteration 4 here also we need to check the last bits of q and q minus 1 and those bits are 1 and 0 thus we need to perform a is equal to a minus m here also we can represent the same equation as a is equal to a plus 2's complement of the m 2's complement of the 0 1 1 1 0 is 1 0 0 1 0 therefore the value of the a will be 1 0 1 1 1 the row below shows the new value of a and there is no change in the values of q and q minus 1 let's continue with that row now we need to perform the arithmetic right shift and it is the row below contains the new values of a q and q minus 1 after arithmetic right shift let's continue with that row and here is the final and fifth iteration check the last bits of q and q minus 1 and these are 1 1 so meaning is that we need not to perform any operation we just need to perform the arithmetic right shift so the values of the a q and q minus will be as it is in the above row now we need to perform arithmetic right shift and it is the row below contains the new values of a q and q minus 1 after arithmetic right shift let's continue with that row and here we are going to calculate the final answer the answer is made out of combining a and q and the final answer is 111011010 which is nothing but minus 70 i hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial this is my third video in the series and more to come if you liked this video then please like it and share with others Also don't forget to subscribe my channel for new videos hit that bell icon to get notification of new videos thank you see you next time have a good day